Welcome back. Welcome back. We're on our way to Katninga Station. No. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Um, it's Ray. just past Port Augusta in South Australia. It's not the best day to be seeking a bush camp or having a bush no. camp site. No. That's what we booked. <laughs> it's been pouring down with rain. It's really cold. Everything's wet and muddy. It's very windy. The drive here from Kimber this morning was a bit... Uh, yeah, a bit crazy on the road, the trucks and the wind and the rain, it was all a bit much. Um, very good roads here in South Australia. Well, we're very lucky to have really good roads in WA, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. What truck? What did you Just drop? Just a second, get it. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, Katninga Station has sent us a map um, via email. They apparently the GPS can really throw you off. So we are just following a map now. It's about nine and a half Ks from the turn off of Spear Kick Road into Katninga Station. Um, we'll show you our site when we get there. Otherwise, we hope you enjoy the scenery. station um, you sort of get to a side a sign out the front that says camping sites this way and then you continue on to the house because it's been rainy um, the track up to the house is a bit sticky apparently so Heather the lovely owner has just sent us straight onto our campsite and uh, we're in site three it looks like we're just coming up on it now it looks pretty good quite level actually yeah, this is awesome. yeah. and we'll have this place to ourselves which is really nice um, there's other two three other campsites over the other side I don't see number five there somewhere. Yeah, one, two, and five. We're one, two, and five. Where four is. God knows where four is. All right, we're gonna get the van set up and um, try and create a dry area. <laughs> yeah, but everything's pretty muddy. Um, but it doesn't look like too bad in mud, really. No. It's no. All right, we have to figure out which way the wind's going to. The fire pit looks really cool. Mm. Here we are all set up as best we can in this uh, mud <laughs> um, so there was a massive shower of rain just as we got here uh, and it was really muddy but it's since drained and it's pretty good so we chose a high spot on our side up here so it did take us about 15 minutes to level the van uh, just so it's really high at the front so it just take us a little bit um, and we want it still a little bit high at the back so the rain runs off the front <laughs> of the caravan um, now there is a long drop toilet up here I don't know if you can see it up there on the hill um, so you don't have to be fully self-contained to be here which is pretty cool so this is our huge site it's site three and there's no one around we can't see any other sites which is something that we'd love um, the view is epic I'm not sure if you can make it out here but you can see the other side of the gulf. There's a wind farm at the bottom of this hill and then the gulf and then it must be the York Peninsula on the other side, which is amazing view. More wind farm over here and then the Stirling Ranges right there. So beautiful outset. Mark's busy chopping wood. Splitting wood. <laughs> Splitting wood. <laughs> Not doing a very good job of it. No, but the fire's going. Woohoo. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have a big one tonight, aren't we babe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Liam's over here having a fruit cup, aren't you, sweetie? Yum yum. Do you like fruit cups? Yeah. <laughs> Costas are waiting for some fruit. And Kiri's in a timeout, aren't you, honey? Why are you in a timeout, Missy? Oh, that's right, because there's windmills over there, kilometres away. 
but she knows they're there and she keeps barking at them. <laughs> so she's in the van. Um, she wants to come back out, but we'll give her another five minutes until you come down, huh? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So we're just going to decide what we're cooking for dinner. Yes, it's a tough day when you hard decision is what's for dinner. Yeah. We've got some. We're going to do like a mushroom pasta, I think, while we're here. Yes. Should yum, be pretty yum. good. And yes. I want to cook the steaks. I don't know if we'll do that tonight or maybe tomorrow. It'll be a bit clearer. No, tomorrow. we got some really big steaks from the butcher in Kimber. Nice big they look amazing. The yes. And the mushroom pasta that I'm cooking is from a book called The Small Kitchen Cook. Uh, which I'll be sharing more about on social media over the next few weeks. So you've probably already seen it. <laughs> um, beautiful book and there's lots of recipes you can cook in there on your small kitchen like our caravan. Um, there's also a couple of recipes you can cook over the fire, which is good. Yeah. Hey Liam, what's just out there? Mm, oh, look, two of them are right there now. We just saw a big mama kangaroos bounce away as well. Such a cool spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've just explored. We're going to try and extend our stay. Yeah, yeah. We've just decided. We might stay one more night, I think. Yeah, we like it here. It's good. Yeah. And um, the dogs have had to go inside because the emus are a bit close and they're getting a bit worked up. Yeah. Which is fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scare them, kiddo. Bit of a quiet day today. It's just been constant drizzle. It wasn't forecast for rain today. It's just meant to be overcast today and tomorrow, but it's just been on and off drizzle all morning. But Liam and Clem have gone into town today uh, just to go for an explore and make the most of it because we're literally only like 25 k's from Port Augusta. So I'm just having a bit of a morning off. With, I've got the puppers here. Gone for a couple of walks uh, in the patches of no rain uh, and I'm just doing some editing and stuff it's got the power cord running off the inverter we're still getting solar surprisingly I'm still getting 2.6 in at the moment even though it's overcast and raining um, but that's probably what the inverter is using anyway so yeah I'm just chilling out this morning hopefully um, we'll see the caretaker or the owners soon they're gonna bring around a couple of bags of firewood for us um, Ten dollars gets you twenty kilo bags or something, um, which is awesome because everything's wet. And I don't think we're allowed to collect wood from here anyway. We did bring a bag with us, but we burned through that already last night. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we'll get a couple of bags dropped off to us because I want to cook on the fire tonight. But it's going to be a little bit weather dependent, I think. We do have a pork roast. If uh, the weather's no good for cooking on the fire, we'll just do a roast in the in the ziggy instead and check out these steaks that i bought i've got a couple of big ribeyes on the bone that i want to cook on the fire do a reverse here i've never done a reverse here before so i'm pretty keen to give that a try but yeah we'll see what the weather does maybe tomorrow night instead look at the size of this bag woohoo and we got two bags yeah, what happened did you hit your head? We dunked heads on the way out. Oh, oh no. no. I think you need some downtime, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Time for some reading eggs. Ooh. It's out for a bit of a wander, but I wanted to show you. This is Lissy's camp, number five campsite. Um, a couple of the camps around here have these really cool showers set up. A bit rustic. Um, set up in old tree hollows. Check this out. I mean, how cool is that? So it's just on a canvas bag. How cool is that? Canvas shower in bag, tie on rope, water in, pull up, tie, put back dry when you go, please. I mean, how cool is that? Little pulley system up there. Bit of privacy. So there's a couple of these around here. All of the campsites are really spread out, which is awesome. So even if it was busy, like you're still 100 meters or so from the nearest camper. Uh, as far as I can see, 
all of the sites have an outhouse, <laughs> long drop toilet. I'm tucked in back there. And because it's all that corrugated tin, um, they all blend in really well, so it looks really natural. So probably about 400, 500 meters from the caravan. Um, this side up here looks wicked. I don't know, it just is like a little bench there. It's on a bit of a slope though. Look at that. Beautiful. <clears throat> And we're talking to Brian, one of the owners earlier, and he was saying that um, there's about a flock of about 30 emus <laughs> that frequent this area. So that probably explains why we've seen so many emus. How could this say? Oh. <clears throat> oh, those beautiful rocks. Sit there, have a couple of drinks, chatting. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I can see emus out the back there. Don't know if you can see. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight emus just out that way. They're everywhere. Apparently, there's a cow named July <laughs> that likes to come and visit the campus too, and she'll lay down with you at the fire, just hang out. I haven't seen hide nor hair of. July, but I have seen lots of cow poo. <laughs> All right, there's my little cage where these steaks are gonna slowly cook over the next hour or so. I think that's close enough to the fire. Like, there's some good heat there. I've not done this before, but let's give it a whirl. We're putting it on a little bit early in case it takes longer than I think. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's on fire. Oh no, it's good, it went out again. How good is that? Now give it a blow, cause it's gonna be really hot and that stick's gonna be hot too. Okay, good boy. Yum, yum, yum. Can I take off? If you like. It's really yummy. Yep. Oh, you got a layer, good job. You eat that bit and then you can toast the next bit. Yum, lamb. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Delicious, huh? Alright, we've got some sweet potato in the alfoil. Mark's just split the steaks. Yeah, the bones got a bit hot while I was preparing the chimichurri. Yep. Liam's had some marshmallows. <laughs> Yay! Adding another little liberal amount of salt and pepper to them. I've always wanted to do this, a reverse here. I've never had the right sort of steaks to do them. But apparently, we just rest it straight on the bed of coals, which we've got a nice bed of coals there. I'm going to wear my campfire gloves, similar to a welder's gloves. Apparently, he just dropped them. Right on there. And how long do you put them on for? About a minute or two minutes each side, apparently. Depending mm -hmm. on the heat. But oh, how's that crack away? Yeah, it sounds like it's still in its job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice hot bed of coals. We've had this fire going since, what, two, I think we grew up? Mm, yeah, two. Yep. Yeah, so it's now five. Mm. Oh, my, <laughs> my mouth is watering. Yeah. I think these are going to be amazing. I'm getting hot sitting here. Yeah, and it's yeah. only a bit of coals, there's no flame anymore. Then this one we've got uh, the sweet potato. They claim put in there with olive oil, salt, pepper and thyme. Mm -hmm. And then in this one is broccoli with butter Just and... Just a bit of butter and salt. Salt. Yeah. Nothing fancy. And then I've also done up a uh, chimichurri, mm. which is part of the recipe. So that should be pretty good as well. And what's in the chimichurri? Uh, garlic, parsley, chilli, uh, olive oil and red wine vinegar. Okay. okay, maybe we should flip them. What do you reckon? Yeah, do
You excited? Yeah, my mouth is drooling. <laughs> they smell amazing. <laughs> hey, mate. What are you doing? Wow. Why did that fall? Like it that? didn't fall. Dad's put it on the coals to cook it a little bit more in the outside. All right, look at that. There are our steaks. I'm going to cut them open in a second. And then our veggie parcels and our chimichurri. So, give me a quick second to get these sorted and we'll show you the final result. But look at the sweet potato. Oh, they're soft. Mm. I can't explain to you how good this all smells. Look at this one. Mm, that was so... This is the thicker of the two, but yeah. I sort of favoured it because it was the thicker one. Yeah, okay. Alright. Mm. Is it good? I can hear you chewing mm. in my ear. It must be good. Mm -hmm. Did you just get one of the chewy bits on the end? Yeah. Or it was it's still good? Yeah. Mmm. So good here. Yeah. All right, let's dish up. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Steak, chimichurri, barbecued broccoli, barbecued sweet potato. Give us the uh, the yeah. review. <clears throat> Bit of steak with chimichurri. Ow. What does it need next time? I don't know. It's a little chewy. The flavour is delicious. Cooked perfectly. The chimichurri is really good. <laughs> yeah, I reckon yeah. maybe we could, have, we could have slow cooked that steak for longer. A little bit longer? Better, yeah. yeah, okay, next time. Okay. Oh, let me try some blueberries. Veggies. The veggies are just falling apart. They're really good, actually. <laughs> Yummy, yeah, kiddo? Yeah. You're just eating Ow. bread so far. Ow. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to call it a success. Might not be perfect, but for our first attempt at a reverse sear steak, I think this is okay. Mm. See you later. What do you reckon? Seven inches just here, but we had 12 before. Mmm, how good is this? Just get brought out a spoon covered in chocolate. What's going on in here? I'm making a mess, that's what we're doing. Oh, golly. Yeah. Mm. What have we decided to make? It looks like mousse. Yes, we're making um, cacao and coconut mousse by the small kitchen cook, Ashley Butler. Mm. So good. Yes, yeah, so. How much have you worn and eaten, <laughs> hey? Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at your board jumper. Yeah. It's delicious though. So I'm just gonna clean it up and then put them in the fridge to set. And then before you serve, you put like chopped up cranberries and I've got some fresh strawberries and some coconut to put on top. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Dessert. Dessert. Yes. <laughs> Loving having our lazy day. Got a little slide for Liam. He sends his cars down there, but then also he heads down there as well. The dogs are actually just chilling out in the car like this. This has been their safe space for the last two years while we've been traveling, so they like going up in there. We had them tied up just because they're, well, we have to have them tied up here, but they were on the back of the car, but there's, the emus are back. So I've just popped them up in the car and then they're comfortable in here. They're on their beds, they're out of the wind. The flies don't get to them as much, so they're just chilling out up there. I've already split a bunch of wood into smaller bits because we're going to cook on the fire again a couple of times today uh, just because we can i love cooking on the fire i'm not very good at it i'm, I'm working on that uh, but while we've got a nice big open pit like this we're going to do pizzas in the osbri for lunch or pizza pockets that uh joey and ellie taught us while we were up in derby just with some of the leftover steak and stuff from last night and then we're going to do a pulled pork this afternoon um, in the camp oven which i should probably get that out because that's right in the middle of the tunnel route but yeah, we'll enjoy that because we'll roll out of here tomorrow, do a couple of days of driving, I think, and then park up somewhere for Clem to work again this week. We're thinking maybe on the Murray somewhere, which will be cool. 
Um, so we're just going to make the most of having a down day here. The it's not forecast to rain today and so far it hasn't. The wind's only just picking up now so we might be in for a really nice day today. I yeah, had a couple of extra campers come in. There were some here but they came in late and left early this morning and then there's people up the back there. And they're the closest people that we can see so it's still pretty good. But I'm going to get this little boy's bike out. We're going to start riding his push bike I think. Yay! It's a bit hard on these rocky bumps, isn't it? Yeah. Good job. Good job. You're doing a great job. Hey. Should I do another one? I'll go back to the top again. You're doing a great job. Is there another one? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you could ride from here all the way around that tree. Let's try it, hey? And then go up there. Yep, then we can go back up the hill. Yeah, okay. Bye -bye. Pedal, pedal, keep pedaling. I'm right here. I've got, I've got holding your jumper. But you got to keep pedaling. That's it. Good turning. Keep going. It's tricky to go uphill. Got to pedal a little bit harder. That's it, kiddo. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard. You're doing a great job, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not good for my back. No. <laughs> so if he can do it like this, on this, he's so good at it on like a footpath. He is, yeah. The road now. So by the time we get to the caravan park we're going to work in, he'll be racing around there. I hope so. And we can get rid of that balance bike. We'll yeah. see if we carry it. Quick, Liam, catch up to Daddy. Yum. Pizzas for lunch. What's this one in here? Um, that's Liam's one. It's got leftover steak. He put the tomato and barbecue sauce on himself and the cheese and a bit of tomato and a bit of capsicum. That's it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, lots of cheese. Probably actually go down on the lower. Yeah, I feel like it could. I don't think the coals are quite there yet, are they? Oh, there's a lot of heat kicking off of them. Oh, they're good coals from last night. Yeah, I, I tried to shovel them around as I got the new fire going, so they've probably got a lot of feed back into them now. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, not bad for leftover lunch. I mm. love this thing. We've already used it once and I'm already loving it. Yeah, I'll show you the other one. We've made one each. There's probably going to be leftovers. Ooh. What you doing? I'm here. Huh. All right, this is Mark's one. Yum. So parmesan, cheddar, steak, capsicum, tomato, um, and he loves this barbecue sauce here. It's a bit battered from the fridge. It's so good. And I'm having a bit of a veggie head. I've got some steak, some avocado, spinach, parmesan, cheddar, tomato, and no capsicum for me. Not a huge fan. Okay. What are you doing? No, that okay. Is it good? God, it looks good. A bit hot, hey? Yeah. Would you try cool it down a little bit? It looks really yummy. Come up nice and crispy. So good. Can't wait to have the other ones. Mm -mm -mm. This one's my one. Looks so good. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat it. There's quite a bit here. I think there'll definitely be leftovers. And Liam's loving his. And Mark is just about to come for this one here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've just been prepping a nice pulled pork. We're going to let that slow cook for hours today. And what's going on in the big cubby here? Look at this. Hello. Oh. Okay. Hi Liam. Just playing. You playing in your cubby? Oh. Hello. Big cubby has this one, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> hey. The flies are horrendous outside. So we got here and it's been rainy and windy. And then now that it's not windy and the sun's out, all the flies have come in. I think I preferred the rain and the wind to be honest. But that's okay. I've got some good coals going on in the fire. I was just going to give it another 15 minutes and then I'm going to go put this in. I've dug a little hole so I can sit the coals down into it and hopefully retain the heat a bit better. And then uh, I'll stoke up the fire again and let it just sit all afternoon. Should be pretty good, I think. I think we're going to have some beautiful weather and a nice sunset.
this afternoon with these clouds around. So yeah, I'm pretty keen for that. Okay, so our moose head set is only taken like two hours. Really good. So, yeah, now we're decorating. So you've got to split them evenly between all of them, okay? We've just chopped up some toppings. Now the recipe calls for mm. chopped up pistachio. Yeah, that's really good. Now make sure they're even between all three of them. Yeah. The chopped up pistachio, a bit of salt and flaked mine. coconut. And all I think she uses rose petals. Um, we're watch. using fresh and, strawberries, and banana. I'm going to put all the marshmallows in this one and all the strawberries in this one and all the banana in this one. <laughs> okay, and which one's yours? In my one, not my one. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, are you going to share the marshmallows? Yeah. It doesn't look like it, mister. Can yeah. you put some in this one and this one too, please? No, 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 I'm not going to. You can't have that many marshmallows. That's too many. You've already eaten one. You need to put some marshmallow in this one and that one. No, no, I'm going to have all these bits. And I'm going to put the strawberries in No, no, this they one. all get a little bit of each. You put some in each of them. They have to be shared. You can't eat all of the marshmallows. Does this look, kiddo, dessert in the middle of the day? <laughs> pretty spoiled area, actually. I reckon we eat better than we used to, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. How good's that? <laughs> Not bad for four ingredient chocolate mousse, hey? Mmm. Mmm. It's good too because it's hot today. So good. We're back in shorts and t shirts again. <laughs> yeah, it was cold this morning, though. So this is nice and refreshing. Nice and refreshing, hey? Chocolate mousse with marshmallows. This is the best mm, way to get mm, dad mm. to eat fruit, hey? <laughs> Cover it in chocolate. Yeah, you're not a huge fan, are you? No. That's a really good recipe. But it's got marshmallows in it. And I love that you can just make the mousse base and then just chuck whatever you've got on top of it mm. as well. It's so yummy. Yeah, it's quite rich. It's really rich. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. want any more than what we've got no. in here. No, no. It's delicious. I'm All enjoying right. these new recipe books. Me too. My turn. Dinner on the campfire. Now that the sun's out, check out our view out here. Isn't that sensational? Like it always looked good when we first got here, but there was just like this haze and the fog and stuff like that. But a clear sunny day like today, which is sensational. I'm really looking forward to this sunset. I reckon it's gonna be magic. So it's just over there. Dinner should be ready sort of about that time, I think. I cut the uh, the fat layer off and I've salted it. It's in the fridge drying out. I'm going to use the Osbri and hopefully turn it into crackling if it works. It should work. <laughs> this might be our best campfire cook up yet. I reckon it might be. Look at this. I'm so happy with the pulled pork. Pulled pork. I'm actually really happy with the crackle cooked on the Osbri. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping it's okay. I'm going to cut into it. They just look good. Mm -hmm. Want to taste test? Yeah. Bit chewy. Oh. Bit chewy. Still tastes really good. Oh. I might have left it on there a bit. Mm -hmm. See how this side looks. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at that bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That was divine. I can't explain to you. That's honestly the best cook up we've done on the fire, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That was yeah, superb. So good. I'm so full. That pork <laughs> just melted, hey? Mm. Yep. Delicious. Considering I didn't need to tear it, all we did is just stir it around with the tongs and it just fell apart. Mm. The veggies, probably the only they downside, like they needed a little bit longer. They were Should still have put cooked, them on a little bit they earlier. Just hard. Yeah, they're on there for a good 30 minutes and the coals were really hot. Yeah. Probably could have put them on hotter coals. Oh, that's Maybe, okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Didn't want to burn them. That were really good. And then they, um, <laughs> The crackle ended up like, because there was some thick bits, it's like little pork belly bites. <laughs> I feel so dirty. <laughs> uh, it was good. Ow. You're still picking at them. Oh, it's so good. I... One more. Mm. This little boy needs to go to bed. 
But hopefully we get to catch this sunset. Because I think it's going to be quite pretty far. Mm, we'll see. He's red. Again. Oh yeah, he's not going to make it, but hopefully we get him down and then we can come out and enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Done. Um. Well, it didn't work out. Liam's still <laughs> not asleep yet. He's been talking to his grand and pop on the phone, reading books. Oh yeah, it's not a bad sunset. Not as pretty as I expected it to be because all these clouds sort of disappeared, but still lovely. I'm going to feed these dogs and uh, take them for a walk and then we're going to pack up everything and maybe Clem and I might come back out, check out the stars when they come out and have a Bailey's. Pretty much all packed up. Yeah, yeah. These flies are horrendous. They are so bad today. So glad we're leaving today. But the sun's out and it's actually warm, which is lovely. It's supposed to be 26 today, 26 degrees. I'm really excited to have some warmer weather. The cows have finally come up. I'm not sure if I can show you. They're just through this grove of trees here. I can see two cows here. So they do hang around. But they haven't come right up to camp or anything. We put Liam and the dogs in the car because the flies are really bad. And Mark's just using the legs and the jockey wheel to lower the front of the van back to its normal height as we're in a pretty high spot at the front of the van. Yeah. But we'll be all hitched up in about five minutes and ready to roll out.